So today's lesson, again, is titled Perimeters and Areas of Similar Figures. Let me start right out with a theorem. It says, if the similarity ratio of two similar figures is A over B, and this is for similar figures, then one thing that's true is the ratio of their perimeters is also A over B. So if the scale factor of, uh, or if the scale ratio of two similar figures is 2 to 3, then their perimeter is also going to be in that same ratio, 2 to 3. The ratio of their areas is a little different. It would be A squared to B squared. So if we were looking at that same 2 to 3, that would turn out to be 4 to 9. Because remember, area is a square measure. It's a square unit. It's two dimensions. So how do we use that? We use that to answer questions like this, or to look at relationships like this. It says the trapezoids at the right are similar. Okay, so they're telling us they're similar. That means their sides are in proportion, and their angles, their corresponding angles are congruent. It says if we look at the ratio of the lengths of their corresponding sides, there would be 6 to 9. We can see the 6 on the top one and the 9 on the lower one, right? So we've got a ratio of 6 to 9. 6 to 9 reduces down to 2 to 3. Agreed? Divide a 3 out of the 6 and divide a 3 out of 9, you get 2 to 3. It says find the ratio, smaller to larger, of the perimeters. So if the ratio of the sides is 2 to 3, what's the ratio of the perimeters going to be according to the theorem we just looked at? 2 to 3. Yeah, it's a slam dunk. If the ratio of the sides is 2 to 3, what's going to be the ratio of their areas? It's not 2 to 3. It's Remember, it's got to be 2 squared to 3 squared. Or... What's 2 squared to 3 squared? What's another way to write that? 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. So it's going to be 4 to 9. Make sense so far? Okay, just scratching the surface still. Go a little deeper. This is a type of multiple choice question we could run into. It says the area of the smaller rectangular, or excuse me, regular poly pentagon is about 27.5 square centimeters. So they're telling us the area of the smaller one is about 27.5. They're not telling us exactly, but they're giving us a pretty uh, good estimate. It says, what's the best approximation for the area of the larger regular pentagon? Well, what do we need to look at in order to determine that? Yeah, so you, you hit on all the key things right there in what you just said. We know the, the uh, approximate area of the smaller one. We know that the smaller one has a side of 4 that corresponds to the larger one with a side of 10. We can look at those ratio, that ratio. So let's set that ratio up. How do we start setting that ratio up? Let's let's uh, yeah, let's let's go a little slower though. Let's just say four over ten is the same as what? Let's just reduce the four tenths. Two fifths. So this is the same as two fifths. Now this is the ratio of their sides, right? The sides are in a, a ratio of two to five. So if we if we know that this is the ratio of the sides, then we know the ratio of the perimeters is the same. But what's the ratio of their areas going to be? It's not going to be 2 to 5. Well, we know there's a 27.5 to something. But what does that equal? It doesn't equal, it doesn't equal 2 to 5 because it's, we're dealing with areas, not perimeters. Good. It's got to be 2 squared to 5 squared. What's 2 squared? 4 and 5 squared we know as 25. Can we solve that? What's the easiest way to solve that? Cross multiply. Yeah, so 4 times x is 4x. Who's got 25 times 27.5? 687. 687.5. And then if we divide that by 4? 
171.9 and change, probably. Okay. So which answer is the best choice for our, our math here? 171.9 gets closest to which one? C. Yeah, so we would probably say, hey, the answer is C. So what we have to be really careful of here is not just to use two-fifths in our calculation for the area. We have to use the square of two-fifths because we're looking for area, not perimeter. So we need to make sure we're looking at square units. And that'll help us remember to square the two and the five. We should see a C come up here. Can you guys think of a a reason why it might be important to know this, what we just did. Let me pause this a second. Let's move on.